What's up, best friends? My name is Brian Deach, and today we're going to discuss how you can eliminate your attack surface leveraging the Zero Trust Exchange by Zscaler. Now, before we get into exactly how we do that with our platform, let's frame up what your attack surface looks like today. So here we have the uh, quote unquote modern architecture by modern. I mean, we just threw up a bunch of firewalls and VPNs over there. And the challenge with this is that firewalls and VPNs end up becoming your attack surface. You know what they say about an attack surface, right? And they're just like, ah, opinions. Everyone seems to have one. And this design is a giant red flag. And what I mean by that is that for attack surface, all of these firewalls and VPNs all have an IP address. And if it's reachable, it's breachable. It's just a matter of time before you're exposed. And this literally becomes the front door, and in some cases, maybe even a, a screen door into your network. And so when we look at this, you have to remember that IP addresses were predicated on connectivity and not security. And you have to understand that public IP addresses are not compatible with zero trust principles. Alrighty, friends, we got old school versus the new school, or as I like to call it, rotten eggs versus freshly baked cookies. One is exponentially better in my opinion. What you need to know right here is that zero trust architecture is the solution when it comes to eliminating your attack surface. What we are doing is kind of simple. We want to hide your applications entirely. There is no inbound ACLs here or here. We're hiding those applications back behind the Zero Trust Exchange. Directionality is key. You'll notice that there is no inbound here or here or over here. Everything just goes towards the Zero Trust Exchange for traffic that is eventually going out to internet or SaaS, we're gonna, again, we're gonna hide those IP addresses of your stuff back behind the Zero Trust Exchange. And you'll notice that I think Kenny Chesney said it best, no firewalls, no VPNs, no problems. I'm 100% sure I've got that quote wrong, but you don't have to worry about that stuff in Zero Trust architecture. We're taking the branch, we're making it completely invisible. We're brokering access based upon the user and the contents. Entity A to Entity B and then securing the connection. Again, there are no inbound connections right here. And we're doing this to secure your private applications back behind the Zero Trust Exchange. So there you have it. You can stick with the uh, legacy, boring, gross approach, firewalls, VPNs, and ever expanding attack surface, all while crossing your fingers and holding your breath, hoping for the best. For option two, you decide to eliminate your attack surface you know that the zero trust architecture is the solution. No firewalls, no VPNs. You verify users in context. You connect users to applications, not networks. No more inbound connections. You make an invisible branch and you secure those private applications. And with that said, that's my time. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, as the kids would say, like gas me up, I guess. Share this with a friend, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.